Once you have traced all of your pieces onto the steam seam, you're going to roughly cut out the steam seam uh, outside the dashed or solid lines. As you're cutting out your steam seam pieces, you're going to put them in stacks according to the fabric number. So these are all fabric K on this fabric. So before, as I was cutting them out, I put them in the K stack. And so here is the E, here are H, and A, and then these are fabric D, all of fabric D. And there's more fabric, I just didn't show it all here. Um, once you cut them all out and you separate them per, per fabric number or letter, you're going to place them on your fabric. So this is fabric. D, and you try to be as conservative as you can and put the big pieces first and then put the smaller pieces where you can and just arrange it as much as you can. And then you're going to pull the paper off of one side of the steam seam, the side that is not traced, and you're going to place it on the back of the fabric. So the wrong side of the fabric gets the untraced piece of the steam seam and just put them down and press them in place. When you're happy with where you have them and you've got all the pieces that you need, then you're going to put your applique pressing sheet on top and you're going to lightly press it. And You don't need steam at this point, but you're going to press and heat it up just enough that it sticks to the paper without coming off. It'll stick pretty good before you, you press it, but ironing it will just give it a little bit better press. So once you're finished, it should look like this. You'll have all the D's on one fabric, you'll have all the A's on one fabric, and all the H's on another fabric, and so on. Some fabrics will only have one or two pieces. Some will have a lot of pieces. After you've done that, you're going to cut out all the pieces now on the fabric, and you just roughly cut around the steam seam pieces, the traced pieces, and then roughly cut all of these out. Next, you're going to divide these. This is section one, this is fabric J, section one, number five. So I'm going to put this in section one. This is section two, that goes in section two. This is section two, section two, two, one, and one. Go through the, and do that with all of your different fabric pieces. So you'll have six stacks, section one, two, three, four, five, six.